In today's video I survived for 50 hours on LV. We will fight groups, raid rich bases and becoming the most geared solo on the server. If you guys enjoyed this video and want part 2 make sure to drop a like let's aim for 200 likes. Also subscribe if you haven't already since there's a high percentage of you guys watching right now and aren't subscribed yet. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown now and today we're going through another one which is a lovely goggly cap. To win this make sure that you've liked, subscribed and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning and I would like to shout out each and every one of you for your support. If you guys want to play on some really good servers, I recommend you check out LDG Network. We currently have three servers, two of them being on Escalation, one being on Arid. We have a normal vanilla Escalation server and a five-timed Escalation server. If you guys want to check them out, I'll have a Discord link in the description below that will take you to the network. And I hope to see you guys there. Alright, so we're joining Elver. I won't have literally anything. I have not touched Elver in a while either, to be honest. Let me fix my graphics. Now, I do have some plans, some checklists that I want to do is basically... I want to build myself a base close to Junction. Um, but mainly, I just want to survive on the server for 50 hours without losing my base or getting raided or whatever. On the server, it may actually be a bit hard because it's not really that hard to get raiding gear on Elver. But hopefully that, that won't happen in 50 hours. It's quite early in the morning and there are around like 10 people on. So I assume more will join later on. I kind of hope so to be honest. But on Elver, if there's not a lot of people on, you'll still probably find people around. Because it's a pretty small PvP area. Especially around Junction. And there we go, we got a pog. Yeah, server is a bit high times low, that's five times. That's unfortunately the only active server I could find. But that means that everybody will be having guns. Obviously, the dead zone loot will be pretty much normal, though, because you don't kill zombies for the loot. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna try to start getting myself items for components, actually, because we need as much as possible for those. So I'll probably head to the mall very soon. We do have ourselves a saw, so maybe we can start chopping down trees with that. We got ourselves a puck. Got ourselves some more metal. Now we got ourselves a door. Okay, the server is a pretty large vault. We'll put the door. We got, we got a bed as well. Put that in vault too. Obviously, we'll salvaging as much items as possible. There's another puck over here. Let's salve Let's vault that too. Alright, so we we'll build some around here. So I'm just gonna literally start chopping down trees. Actually, even though it's uh, we have a saw, it's gonna take a while. But I just need to have myself somewhere to store my loot, just in case I get something good like very quickly you know if we get a kill and the guy is geared full thick then we would be able to store them somewhere today's video is sponsored by pine hosting are you guys trying to set up your own network for unturned then look no further because i got the best option for you which is pine hosting pine hosting is very easy to learn the navigation is super user friendly and not hard at all to master the servers all have high performance with ddos protection when i started my own network a while ago i had no clue how to do anything but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Ark and also Minecraft. A game-changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off. And let's get straight back into the action. Alright, so one by one base is done. Don't really have anything, obviously, but now it's time to start looting around, trying to get stuff for components. Now, I can actually avoid doing a gas mask and just going in there completely naked with meds and doing runs that way until we get raiding gear and then we can start raiding and that, that kind of stuff. But obviously, we would die over and over, but the thing is, since the server has a pretty large vault... Then we can actually start progressing and vaulting everything that we get from the, the dead zone. It's kind of scummy to do it, but it's very easy to get loot. But obviously first we need to get all of the key cards. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the mall and I'm going to try to get some stuff. This high times loot, so perhaps it won't really be that hard. I will still try to get components because we still obviously need to make them for charges and that kind of stuff. Or somebody shooting. I think that's over at the... Oh, there's PvP going on. I'm gonna try to counter that, obviously. We could get some, some easy loot. Yeah, that's over at the mall. Oh, here. Oh, he's right there. There we go. He's dead. I'm still getting shot at. Alright, let's take the gun. Let's med up. Oh, he's on top, bro. Oh my guy is literally up there. I could try to vault the gun that I got, so at least if I die, I would get dead. But, you know, let's pick up as much. Got myself some more loot. 
Yeah, he has a tusk. Let's med up again. Yeah, I can't vault because I'm in combat mode. I don't know how I'm gonna kill him, man. I need to push him or something. He's running around, I think. And there's a telescope back there. I need to try to get that. Oh, he hit me again, bro. I still have another dressing. And let's get inside. I hear steps around. Wait, what? Oh, there's zombies around here. There's somebody punching zombies, bro. I think that was above. Yeah, I hear him walking around. He's somewhere above, I'm pretty sure. Let's go up. Even though this is just a dead end. Oh, right, there's a dude right there. Yeah, this dude is punching zombies. I hear him. All right, let's vote there. Let's put that. The gun. Oh, there's a, two people. And yeah, they're fighting each other. I could kill this dude. Now, yeah, headshot. Hit him. Oh, he's shooting me, I think. Yeah, I got shot. Hit that dude up there. Headshot. There, yeah, that dude is dead. Yeah, he killed someone as well. Let's reload. I could try to push this guy, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna push down. I need to try to kill him. Yeah, he, he has a pog as well. Yeah, he's hiding. Bro, I have barely no more meds. Yeah, he's just hiding up there. I'm gonna try to push, obviously. Maybe... Wait, what? Oh, he's right there. Bro, I can't hit him, man. Let's just jump back, run back. Bro. Oh my god, I got stuck there for a sec. Maybe he'll try to push me. I, th that's kind of what I want him to do. Let's kill these zombies. Alright, they're dead. I can make some meds. Maybe if I try... Yeah, this could be... Yeah, he's pushing for me, I think. Yeah, he's going for me. Yeah, we could kill him easily here now. Where the hell did he go? Alright, let's take the mags. There we go. Yeah, he will not expect me to be here, to be honest. Oh, there we go. We got a blowtorch. I actually needed that. Let's put the telescope in vault, so... We got made ourselves a bunch of me oh he's he's coming I think yeah he is. There we go he's dead. I'm getting shot at, bro. There's still more people. Let's kill the zombie. Yeah, let's take this guy's pog. Let's med up once again. Oh, I made a bunch of splints by mistake. It's whatever though. Let's get to full HP. Yeah, they're they're over there. They're in the construction area now. Hit him. I'm gonna push up. One of them is, should be quite low. Yeah, they're inside. I hear it. Oh. Wait, one guy just died. He's right here. There we go. He's dead. Oh, yeah. A bunch of more guns. There we go. I think we cleared them all out finally. Oh, this backpack is still better. Oh, I'm dead. Nice. Well, thankfully, I did vault all of the good loot. Yeah, full vault of loot. Bro, there's somebody... There's somebody killing a mega zombie right now. Oh, he's right here? Oh, he has no clue about me. Come back here, bro. There we go, he's dead. Oh, th that's a very nice pog. Take that jackhammer, yep. It's really good, actually. I'm not gonna bother with the mega zombie for now, actually. I need to depot these. And then we'll come back and kill the mega. That jackhammer is actually huge because now I can farm metal in the uh, above junction. It could give us a lot of metal. We got ourselves another magazine. We're living very close to junction, so it's kind of dangerous because people may actually like try to raid us or whatever, you know? Let's put that pog back. I really want to keep this jackhammer too, actually. I made myself a few lockers from all of that metal we just got. Finally. I accidentally made nails, bro. Right, let's put that over there. I think there's people over at Junction, actually. So we'll go there and see what's up. And we will try to... Bro, I made nails again? Oh my god, bro. Okay, yeah, I I'm screwing up. Yeah, it's fine, though. If I have a blowtorch, I can make them back into metal. So it's really no... No problem. Oh, yeah, let's make them back into metal. Uh, later on, I will obviously upgrade the base and try to make it into full metal, especially if I'll make myself a loot room. Currently, I'm not really focusing on that. I'm focusing mainly on just getting as much loot. We'll focus on base upgrades later on when PvP calms down a little bit because it seems like a lot of people are actually coming 
around here. So let's take a pog, let's drop everything here so that we empty our vault. And we could finally put them inside our base and they're gonna be safe in here. At some point today too I want to check out the map and see if there's any bunkers that aren't unclaimed. And later on we'll move over there. Oh there's a dude there when oh, he saw me. Also apparently on the server there's a guy that is... A hacker? I don't know if that's true, I've not fought him yet. I don't know. There's a duo that's saying that th there's a hacker, but... I don't know if it's this dude. I hit him once, hit him again. I'm gonna push up. Let's go around. Bro, how's he not dead? There we go, he's dead. Alright, he has some stuff. Another pog, a bunch of mags. Alright, that's pretty good. It's med up. He had full police outfit. Alright, nice. We got ourselves another... Pretty nice gun, I won't complain. Alright, so we're gonna do that plan that I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna get as much meds as possible. We'll go completely naked except for a few dressings. And we'll do the dead zone runs over there. I still need to get all of the keycards though. So I'm gonna go around the map, get as much keycards as possible. And we will start doing some mini suicidal dead zone runs. The best rooms I want to check out are obviously the blue room and the red room. Red room we can get stuff like gunpowder, components... Um, thick clothing, and the blue room is the gun room, so we can get heat waves, rebels, moscas, that kind of stuff. So that's the plan for now. And then when we get ourselves an actual gauze mask, we will do as much runs as possible over there. Like full dead zone runs. Doing pretty well, actually. So we've been on the server for around an hour. Got ourselves a few kills already. 49 hours left to go. I'll probably split them into two videos, actually. Also, the duo that I was just killing, uh, they left. Uh, server calmed down even more, so that means that it should be even easier for us to do these suicidal dead zone runs. I have seen the server earlier where the pop was around like 20 plus. Hopefully, it'll happen again in these 50 hours. Probably it will, though. Currently, it's like 1 p.m. Usually, much more people will join when it's obviously later, you know? Alright, so I got myself a lot of metal and we're gonna start upgrading base to full metal, literally. Of the base upgrades, yeah, we're already out though, unfortunately. Now we're gonna get more metal, we'll get, we'll get, just, we'll get upgraded much more. There we go, we got ourselves another wall. Put this bad boy there. I keep accidentally turning off the generator. Server has like a, a base decay system where if you don't have a generator on, the base will start to decay. And we still have quite a ton more metal. I think I have enough to actually make more. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We have definitely do. Make ourselves some storage though because we're starting to get full already. Put these right over here. Alright, there we go. Let's empty everything. Let's put them inside. And we get ourselves another full locker. Savage that we don't need tusks to be honest, especially stocks. Yeah, we got a quite ton of meds. I'm actually gonna go do the suicidal runs very, very soon. Get ourselves a lot of food too, so that we don't accidentally starve to death at some point. We'll do a few more rounds. I still need to get myself a few of the key cards, so we'll do that. Then we'll do the suicide runs. There's a mega zombie. Let's take him out. Maybe he'll drop mesh. Yeah, it takes a while to kill these dudes on this map. Bro, die! How is he not dead yet? Come on. There we go, he's dead. Uh, okay, yep, mesh, and we got ourselves a clapper. Let's get all of these, we're gonna get quite a ton of metal. A bunch of pistols, we don't need those, but... Clapper is nice, LE specs are nice. Salvage all of these. We'll keep the backpack though, obviously. Until we get thick. So the clapper is like a rebel. It's a raiding sniper. Pretty good as well. It's silent, which is OP in my opinion. And that's the only way you can get them is from mega zombie drops. There we got ourselves four cans. I'm really happy with that actually. Alright, so basically I did upgrade it. Uh, two by one now, partially metal, partially wood. And we're gonna start with the suicide runs very, very shortly. We put the clothes in here, put the pog, all I need is a few dressings. And let's hope we get something good on our first run. That's really all I want. We'll drop all of these two so that we have an empty vault. So that when we're, we're gonna open inside the dead zone, we would actually have some space. I don't really have enough space for all of this actually. Yeah, I don't have space. This is actually terrible. I need to make more storage already. And I'm gonna try to get more metal actually very soon then. And yeah, maybe I do have enough. Maybe I just need to salvage like a puck or something. Yeah, there's another scrap here. Let's take this knife, salvage this one. Let's get the blowtorch. Yeah, it's right over here. Make ourselves some bars. Okay. And we'll put this right over here. 
Alright, nice. Somebody's shooting over at Junction, I'm pretty sure. I take a puck with me. If I die with a puck, it's whatever. We put the meds in vault. Because I actually don't want to lose them if I die. Alright, let's refill this. Let's go see if there's anyone over at Junction. Yeah, there's a lot of shots going on. If we manage to kill him, that's great. We'll come back in depot and then we'll do the dead zone run after. I think he's killing a... What? What is going on? Oh, he just blew up a car. Yeah, I know a car. There's a car back here. What's up, bro? Alright, my guy had a frying pan for sure. Yeah, he had a wisp. He didn't have anything, poor guy. There's another dude, though. Yeah. I heard steps. He's shooting down zombies, I assume. Let's... Let's just push up. Yeah, he's somewhere in here. Oh, yeah, he's right over here. There we go. He's dead. Alright, well, he didn't have a gun. He had some clothes, though. Oh, the, there's a defibrillator battery. Nice. Let's go. It's really good. Finally, we got something for components. Alright, dead zone run time. Let's go. Hopefully, I won't die without getting anything good. Got a full empty vault. Got a lot of meds. We avoid the zombies, obviously. We don't need them. They don't really drop anything. Let's go to the blue room. Yeah, so the rebel are here. Good, very good. So now we med, we punch them, take the meds out, open vault. There we go, we vault the grenades too. Alright, nothing good over here. There's another rebel and the sauce, we'll put that in vault. Another sauce, don't need that though. Nothing here. Yeah, I'm out of meds. Oh, we need that! That's a good gun. It's like a, it's like a raiding gun, bro. Alright, we're done with meds. Very good run. I'm really happy with that. That gun that we got, the last gun, is actually a raiding gun. It's like a heat wave. Except that it's silent. It's really good. It takes high cal to raid. You can raid something small with that, actually. Alright, let's loot over here since we spawned here. And we get high cal. Alright, time for a second dead zone run. Here we go. Got a bunch of more meds again. This time I brought a headlamp. D not that it matters. We're just gonna lose it, but... Yeah, man, we got ourselves a headlamp. Alright, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna go to the blue room now. Actually, yeah, let's skip it. We did get the raiding gun. And you're already starting to die. Let's med up. Oh, I didn't get the key card for this. No. All right, it's fine. Let's go to purple then. Yeah, this one is a bit too far for us. Maybe we get gunpowder, but jackhammer don't need that. Yeah, this is not really a, a good run. Oh, dude, gunpowder. All right, we need to vault that. There we go. There's another gunpowder. Vault quickly. There we go. That's 200 high kill shots. All right, really happy with that one. 200 high kill shots. We can already start raiding small bases, man. Alright, that's enough dead zone runs for now. We got what we needed. So now let's do some more runs. Maybe let's try to look some for some raids. And I'll try to get all of the key cards as well. Because I forgot to get the ones at the north. There's some shots going on. I think that's a dorms, actually. Let's go there. There's a dude right here. Yeah, he heard shots too, I think. I, unless he was the one shooting. He's completely clueless. I need bro to jump over here. He's trying to parkour. <laughs> he fell. Oh my god, he's dead. What gun was that? Yeah, I don't even know what that gun is. Now we got ourselves another Elise pack. Lovely. He didn't have anything that good though. There's a mega zombie there. These things spawn like, I think, once every hour. This is like the third mega zombie I've already seen. Let's go back, bro. They're kind of hard to kill as well. If you drop Pykel, I'll be happy. We're gonna go raid soon as well. Uh, okay, well, mesh. Three mesh is crazy. Let's put that in vault. We got ourselves a tusk, a bunch of stuff we can salvage. Some MREs as well, grenade. Alright, not bad. Alright, time for our first base raid. Wood. That's all I'm gonna raid for now for today. Let's see if we get anything good from here. Come on, bro. Break, please. Oh, yeah, we're through. Um, we broke into the storage. Good. Uh, oh, there's a wall. Perfect. There we go. We'll just take that over then. Uh, looks like a bunch of guns, some goss. Uh, yeah, this was a very bad raid. This was a terrible raid. We're gonna take everything. We're gonna salvage them, obviously. But... Yeah, it's not good, man. It's not looking good. There's another base very close, so, so, so we'll go raid that next. Alright, let's go through. This is the second raid I told you guys about. Let's hope we get something good from this one. So, somebody's shooting very close. Alright, yeah, we're through. This one has a bunch of storage, so let's put the wall back. Alright, so, uh, ammo. 
bunch of grenades, a bunch of keys, three MREs. Oh my god, a lot of sniper ammo. That's really good. That's actually insane. We can raid with- Oh, mesh! Mesh and you phone. Somebody's shooting so close. Oh, this one's full of guns, more guns. Even more defibrillator batteries. Bro, this one's really good. Three night vision packs. Let's start this wear a bad better backpack too. Alright, this raid wasn't that bad actually, considering we barely used any ammo. This was a pretty nice raid. I don't know what that gun is, but it looks pretty good. Let's take these, obviously, the U phone. We can make some components now. We got everything for components. I won't complain, man. I don't know what these guns are. Probably not gonna take any of the guns, to be completely honest. Yeah, so raid mode is over, so we could put that back in there. Let's put the good stuff inside our vault. Let's put the sniper ammo. Sniper ammo is insane, bro. Since we got a rebel, so we can raid with that. We'll take this gun, it looks pretty nice. We could salvage these. Even the pistol. Oh, there's somebody outside. I hear steps. Yeah, thankfully we uh, closed the wall behind us. We would have got countered and probably died. Oh, there's... Bro, I found a live base. Right, let's take his guns. Let's leave. I was looking around the bunkers. And uh, yeah, found a live base. I'm not gonna raid them though. I don't think they have anything that good. I don't think it'll be worth it to be honest. There's a dude there. Oh my god, he's dead. Oh, my guy had a puck. Yeah, this was one of the two guys that live in that base that I just killed next to. My guy had a puck, so definitely not where to raid. Alright, boys, that is where we're going to conclude episode one. Now, this is going to be a series. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to see part two come out in the future, let me know. Part 2 starts to get much more intense, much more raiding, and a much more PvP. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.